It's Madden NFL 24, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. From the home of the 12s, they raised the banner just a moment ago. We are set for football at Lumen Field here a mile south of downtown Seattle. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be our visitors taking on our home team. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, year eight for the two of us as a broadcast team. We've done games really all over the globe. And I tell you, it never fails to amaze me how loud these NFL fans get in supporting their home team. I agree with you. Oftentimes, we have to even get closer to each other to look at each other to talk sometimes when these crowds really get cranked up. Those are the fun ones. That's the best atmosphere for you and I to work in. But meanwhile, on the other sideline, this is a team coming in that told us, Charles, we want to get off to a fast start on the road here. What do they have to do to ensure that happens? Do what everyone expects them to do. Get the ball in the hands of the guys who make the best plays for them. Let your best work against their best and see how it turns out. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading them out, their signal caller. Now it is fourth season in the NFL. The secret to his game and his success, incredible chemistry with each and every one of the guys who catches passes with it. And not only does he ask them to stay after practice or meet it before practice, he actually demands it because he knows if they have that kind of chemistry built up, they will be hard to beat each and every ball game. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame, get used to the ground shaking, so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. 22 yards there, a first down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Back-to-back -back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Escaping the pressure right. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. A little bit of a breakdown there defensively, and the RPO turns into a big chunk play. And when you think about running offense, the word comes to mind, assignments, right? Because you have to carry those out. But you have to play assignment football and defense, too, against a team that runs these RPOs because everyone has to be in the right place. Who's got the quarterback? Who's got the running back? Who's covering the receivers? This will work quite well on that play. To throw on second down, Travis. And he slings one that's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Rolling to his right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. From 13 yards out. And this offense takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. He was able to move around and found some vision to throw the football. And how about how he ended it? Boy, he had some zip on that throw. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to have an arm like that. Results in the touchdown here. Great play offensively. Extra point forthcoming. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. That time a six-play drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by their signal caller in his second year of the NFL now. 
Every quarterback in the NFL has a little bit of his own signature style out there, but for this guy, he really plays the game in a different way. It's led to a couple double takes from us up here as we see him as something truly unique. It's not that he's just the strongest passer or the best athlete. There he goes left side. Inside the 20. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. A great effort there. 75 yards. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. The kick is through the uprights to tie this game, but hang on a second. We do have a flag. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Fights through, and now a crease. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for the first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Benson, he had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Here's second and 10. Operating from the gun, Travis. That's complete. It's Bell. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Benson. Fighting through, he's got space. Down the sideline he goes. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. 39 yards. And his guys have taken the lead. Well, we've said it many times. He is always a threat to go the distance anytime he's got the ball in his hands. And on this occasion, he did just that. Well, he's definitely the guy that makes this offense go. And when you're an RB1 running back one, you've got to be willing to be patient at times as well. Not every run's going to be the home run run we saw there. But once you get that opportunity and that opening, you take full advantage. Now the try here for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field ready for their second drive. It really doesn't get much easier than the last drive. One play, and they took it all the way to the house on the touchdown run. And you know how many times we talked about that's exactly how they drew it up because essentially every play is drawn up in an offensive play ball. If everyone does their job perfectly, should go for a touchdown, right? That's one that actually did. Give a little credit to those big fellows up. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain yardage, trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. And what's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah. lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it. And somehow he got to it and was able to recover for a squad. <laughs> And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion and a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Well, a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down per minute and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense, and now they get to turn it back to their offense. 
On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. A strong running. <laughs> it's a 49-yard punt, but subtract nine there for the return. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Brandon, you're a big lover of music. How about what you just saw there? This is what I call playing the piano for a defensive lineman, the ability to move laterally up and down the line of scrimmage. How about the way he just flowed and got to the outside part of the field and made that play? And they worked this well upfield across the 45. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Looking to throw, Travis. This one complete to Coleman. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. Fighting his way through contact. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. On first down, Travis. Touchdown! A great effort there. 26 yards. And they are able to add to their advantage. So Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. A try here for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. So the drive there took six plays, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. That often runs you into a penalty. And he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. 
touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. To throw on third down, Travis. Open man here is Benson. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. On first down, it's Benson. Able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. Brings up second and seven. Off the play fake, Travis. The throw to the left side, caught by Coleman. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Bell. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Back to throw. Travis toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The way he's been slinging it in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown. But I guess he's got to wait to try to pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right, not to be. They'll look to throw on third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. And his kick is indeed good. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24-7. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. This offense back to work now late in this first half. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. 
throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's complete. It's Collins. And they're going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well. It's a down inside the 20. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you two in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both these teams going through their final adjustments before heading back out of the locker room. Time for us to go back out to Lumen Field, where we rejoin Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So after a very one-sided first half, what will the second half bring as we are back underway on EA Sports? And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That is caught, and they're able to get this one across the 35. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That's a nice play there. From the 41, here's a second and seven. They'll set up to throw. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. Only able to gain a couple there, and it brings up third and five now. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Back to throw again. That's complete to Shipley. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. They'll look to throw again. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. It's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's... Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone, possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. They'll start this drive out on the ground. 
<laughs> Still fighting. He stiff arms him. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. 111 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Benson shedding the tackler and it gives him some room. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Great gains back to back. Last time over 30 yards, better than 20 here. On first and 10, Travis. He's able to get it to Coleman. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. What a play that turns out to be, 36 yards. Another big play right there, and this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances, so they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. Here's a diving catch right side. He's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. A great play there with an amazing diving catch. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 24. Our home team, seven. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On play action, they'll throw. And he can't escape, and down he goes. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline. If it rush comes and they block it. Pressure. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. A great effort there. Taking it in. And this offense is running away with this one. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Our home team, seven. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. But well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, Let's just say it's been unusual. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And his throw is incomplete. 
as a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes, knock it away. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. They'll look to throw here. He's got it to Williams. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end, complete. Holding offense. This is unbelievable. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Got his man. It's Williams. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. With this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard. They see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Ready. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. 47 yards on the ground for him so far. That was a good forceful run, and it demonstrates why you've got to put your body on a runner when you're trying to tackle him. If you just go in there and just try and get him down with arm tackles, it usually doesn't work very well. And we saw in that play, they run right through those attempted plays. First down, Kansas City. Right back to him on first down. He gets away from one. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. I know we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space, but there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle, and you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Brendan, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission. Yeah, I you took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. They'll keep it on the ground. Benson. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. 
A CD there up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Final kickoff concludes the ball game, partner, and one side a really nice win in this one. They were good on offense and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, partner, the head coach is just telling this team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it.